Director X is still out there talking about Robin Hood and its low IMDb review of 1.2 stars. Not a very good place for a series to sit at. Now, one of the things that he's going around and saying, and we're going to get to it because he's been pretty active on social media, is that the people criticizing this show have a problem with it because it's a woman of color playing Robin Hood and that other people have done Robin Hood uh, setups and no one said anything. I don't think anyone's done one in a while. And I really don't care that the show is called Robin Hood and it's some different take on the idea of Robin Hood. I just think the show looks bad. I think it looks bad. It looks cringy. It looks cheap. Like I said, yesterday, the characters literally have potato sacks on with these like strange computer patterns or whatever the hell they're supposed to be on their outfits. And then they wear a fox animal masks with LED or like glow stick light up things on their faces. It looks bad. It looks cheap. It looks cringy. It looks super woke. And that's why people are making fun of it. People are making fun of it because it looks like a typical low-budget, woke CW show. That's what it looks like. And that's why people are making fun of it. I highly doubt this is a good show. I watched a couple of reviews on it. It looks cringy. Now, this guy says, well, this is the show's out in different countries that don't even have the show. But he himself told people to use a VPN to use it. He's getting dunked on. Uh, here's over at TikTok. This is the TikTok page for Director X. What does he do if he's a writer or he's like a producer on something, if that ever happens? Does he become Producer X? Writer X? What happened? Assistant Associate X. <laughs> what? <laughs> What is what is that? What are you then at that point? Are you writer written by director X? Just use your real name, bro. Everybody, a lot of people that have moved from different areas, because he used to do music videos. That's what I saw when I looked at his IMDb. Maybe I'm wrong on that. But you got a lot of people that come from like hip hop or something, and when they come to... You know, the film world, they just end up using their real names. Uh, and, and, you know, most of the time, some of, some of them, like, still use their their stage name. Like, Ice Cube will still use Ice Cube, but he still uses his real name, too, now. Uh, 50 Cent did it. But at the end of the day, they don't call themselves Direct-A-Cube. Even though I think he's directed things. Direct-A-Snoop Dogg. Like... Come on, dude. Just use your real name. I'm sure it's it's fine. Anything sounds better than Director X. Anything. But, yeah, I looked at the comments, man. They're brutal. <laughs> like, uh, it's not even available in Sweden. Dude doesn't know what a VPN is. Well, well, well. It's 1.2 now. The comments speak for themselves. Low, coping with that hat and shirt combo. No cap. Director X, you directed a corny show with dog shit premise. Nerds accept women and different kinds of people all the time. This is just a cringe idea. Uh, nah, your show is dog shit or crazy thought. Your show just sucks. The show is dumb. It doesn't even have logical arguments. I've read better AI, AI writing than your show, man. I think you misspoke. Being called out for the dog shit it is, is instead of rating bombed my dude, Watched a show, Rocket Robin Hood was a better show. Yeah, you can do the Robin Hood show. I don't even care that it's it's just a different take on, on the idea of Robin Hood. It's really not that big of a deal. Yeah, the, <laughs> the problem is, like I said, that the show is cringy. And it's just another overly woke show. Run around with, like, 
You know, you get the idea all these cops are evil and you, you're taking on the the system and all this shit. Like, you could have done this. You could have done this a little bit better, especially in the in the costume designs alone. I mean, it could wear jumpsuits or something. They had to wear potato sacks. I mean, there's just a lot of just stupid shit in the show, dude. And, you know, I'm sorry. I'm a little mean here. I'm sure I sound mean, but it's not, it's not the idea of the Robin Hood that things are people that people are upset about. No one cares about that, really. It's the idea that the show is just woke cringe. And we get so much woke cringe in Hollywood. People just make fun of it now. Uh, but he wants to he wants to explain himself. He wants to go on people's shows. He's trying to go on uh, Disparu's show. He's trying to go on Quartering's show. He's trying to go on Neurotic's show. He's trying to go on Geeks and Gamers. Uh, you haven't been, gen- like, you've been pretty disingenuous. You're calling everybody racist and sexist. That's why people aren't asking you to come on their shows. If you said that you wanted to have a meaningful discussion, I think people would probably take you up. But, like, you've literally come out and called people racist for your for your show. And that's what's turning a lot of people off to that. I don't want to have you come on if you're just going to call me racist. But if you wanted to talk about, like, you know, why people are just finding this shit cringe and, and laughing about it, like, that would be a little bit different. You see a coffee brand, Coffee. He's directly retweeting, quartering there. Uh, here he is talking about Ryan, uh, quoting the quartering again. Uh, he really does not like Ryan. <laughs> oh, wait, no, this is the quartering show, talking about the quartering again. Uh, I think he's even been replying to people. And spiked Jackal. Oh, he did respond to him. Okay. He said, no, I am saying, because, yeah, he called out the, somebody put, somebody put a, a Gandalf in there, and he's got, like, KFC and a gold chain. Quartering's been responding to him, so maybe Quartering will have him on. He has a live show, I think, like, every day, so maybe he'll have him on, but uh, it's just, it's it's funny. At least he's, like, willing to discuss, I guess, but the, the way he's going about it is kind of bad disingenuous like i said just calling everybody racist i think especially when I, you have to know i would imagine he has to know that there is a lot of people that find a lot of this a lot of this shit cringy at this point so i mean you're naturally going to turn off a large group of people when you do a show like this what is clearly about woke politics there was a survey that came out the other day uh, that talked about this, like 60% of the country doesn't want this shit anymore. And it's growing year over year. I'll do, I'll show that in, in the next video. We'll talk about that. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about this. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.